Hi, um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, something that I think will be a, a revolution uh, in the designing of a musical saw. Um, so just before uh, telling you what I, I have invented, uh, I will just uh, make a little review of the basic of musical saw design. So uh, here I have Normal Stanley, one of the best uh, uh, real saw to play musical saw. Okay, so um, so the range is about one octave and a half. Okay, so uh, what what governs the range of a saw is the the smaller the tip is, the more you will be able to play I note, and the the more wide uh, the bottom is, uh, the more uh, you will be able to play low note. Um, so like if you take a saw like this one, uh, this one I've removed the tooth, uh, that will give a clearer sound, but uh, the, the real modification is that I have removed material there, so uh, the, the tip is smaller, so you will be able to play higher note. So. Okay, so uh, now let's say you go crazy and you make a very, 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 very small tip. So you should be able to play very, very, very high note. It's true and it's not. So we'll just demonstrate. Okay, so uh, the, the first observation is that when the, uh, the angle is more a uh, step, like when the, uh, the angle is uh, like bigger, uh, for the rest of the video we'll talk in a ratio, so uh, the ratio is like when you move uh, like one inch like that, you will move like one quarter inch here, so you will have a four to one ratio, so uh, some, if the two edges are parallel, it's an infinite ratio. And if they are like at 50, uh, 45 degree, it will be like a ratio of one. Uh, so, but what you have to remember is that you have to bend much more when the uh, ratio go down. So it's actually something that you can notice also uh, on the Wentworth. Uh, Wentworth uh, made a model like a 36 inch and a 30 inch. They have the same tip and they have the same base. Um, so uh, they should be able to play around the same note. Uh, but actually, uh, the 30 inches is harder to bend. You have to bend it like more to uh, reach what I would call like the, uh, the maximum sustain point. Like, uh, like if, you if, you, if you curve a saw just a little bit, you can make it sound, but there's, there's a, a curve when you will have the, the maximum sustain in. If you bend more, you know you will kill the sand. Uh, so the more the angle like that is pronounced, the more you have to bend it. So uh, what happened is that when you design a musical saw, if you want to have a big bass, you want to have a wide bass of the saw, and you will be able to play a very low note. And if you want to play high note, uh, you will have a small tip, but you will also need uh, to have a, um, um, a small angle or a ratio that goes up like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and to demonstrate that, I have a little saw that I've made with a nickel silver, but it's, it would be the, the same thing if uh, it would be made by steel. So uh, this have like a 15 ratio or something like that. And uh, you actually are able to play very, very high note. And you have sustain even with a very high note. So uh, like the secret when you design a musical saw is to have uh, um, a very, very high ratio at the top. So you will have a good high sound, but you need 
a bigger ratio of the base or actually you need a bigger ratio to be able to have a wide a wide base um, so here's here's the paradigm shift is that if the edge are straight you're you're constrained to use only one ratio through the saw so uh, what I've the, what I've done is that I've just decided to change the ratio so I started so that is a uh, wild wide at the bottom with a ratio of about four and then it get uh, you know slow um, shorter and uh, the and actually I will show you this so <laughs> So uh, I've made it with a uh, Wentworth, so the dimension of the base are uh, the same as uh, any Wentworth. Okay, so you can see that here there's a curve and uh, the saw gets smaller faster with uh, a ratio of maybe three and a half, four there. And then for the I know the ratio like would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. And at the top the ratio actually, actually is about ten. So. Uh, you can play a uh, very high note because of the very high ratio um, but you can have a, a wide base because uh, you have more angle there to to get that space so uh, and, uh, and uh, also if you want to have a wider base uh, even more because I start with that that wide base uh, you can uh, actually very easily like win uh, two three four inch at the bottom so uh, the lowest note uh, and with that tricks actually the, that saw can play four octave uh, from c4 to c8 uh, and i will demonstrate that uh, very soon so but if you if you would want to have like more bass like you just put a bass like a 12 inch and uh, i'm sure that it will work uh, i just don't have the material to do it but uh, i will have it and i'm sure it will work so kind of time to demonstrate you that okay so first uh, this is an improvised cheat because I don't play with the cheat normally but if uh, if I want to demonstrate the I know that I don't have I have to use that cheat uh, and this is absolutely not the way I play normally so be indulgent with me okay so Seven. Mm -hmm. 